Hey guys, v here with another V place, and we're taking out Toucan Sam, the Sea Fang. Uh, as you can see, we've got our we're rocking our cool paint job of a toucan here. Reminds me of a restaurant called El Tucano, it's a Brazilian joint that uses a toucan as its emblem. But uh, yeah, not sponsored. So Sea Fang is a pretty simple to use plane and I, I have been rather enjoying it and my obsession with counter rotating props this definitely satiates some of it this is a leisurely morning flight there's no players on the enemy team unfortunately I, I prefer to have humans it makes the games a little bit more interesting but with that said we'll see if it's even it doesn't necessarily mean it's a win, right? So you get four Hispanos. And while the maneuverability isn't stellar because it is a multi-roll, it's enough to be able to counter some of these. Oh, there we go. Let's do a little bit of help here. Should be enough. Oh, not even needed. But, yeah, it's a, it's a solid platform. It's just, um, sacrifices a lot of the reload for the munitions to give you better maneuverability with the same guns and same type of airspeed characteristics you typically expect from, like, the Tempest that is the multi-role equivalent at this tier. Um, if anything, I'd say that it's almost like you sacrifice some of those things in order to get some of the features that people really like about the Spitfire is that it's maneuverable and it has good altitude performance and while this isn't going to be setting any records for turn capability definitely has the firepower that you come to expect from both of those other planes and it has decent enough speed I'm not chasing that TU-10 any more than I just did let somebody else take care of that doing our best to try and grab this uh, highly contested zone over here. Oh, we got somebody on us. What is this? 162.1 and a 64.2. Let's go ahead and ask for some help here because we're going to need it. Oh, managed to pick up that zone. That's not what I wanted. F4. And... Ooh, a Su-9? That's a bold move, man. I'm not sure if I'd want to go after... A dogfighter at tier 9 with my... Oh no, that's the tier 8. This guy's pretty dogfighty, so let's go ahead and knock him out. And yeah, we're going to spend some time mm, defending this zone. We're going to have to go back and recapture that other command center. I think that's a given. Nope, they're all gone. Cool. It's coming back. There we go. Got him before he got his guns on us. That's good. Let's actually start heading back towards this other command center. Burning a lot of our boost here periodically, but it comes back fairly quickly. Oh, 
sipping my coffee, relaxing on a Sunday morning. I'm pretty confident that Bomber's going to get taken care of, so it looks like there's only one thing left to do, and that's been satisfied. Okay. What can we do? Man, where is the enemy team? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to save a roll in here. Yeah. If I can close the distance, I can definitely outturn this guy. That was a person I doubt I would have been able to outmaneuver or uh, outpace him. I would have been able to outmaneuver him. All right, not super exciting. Let's get stuck into another one. Nope, looks like we got one of these crates. Let's see what we get. Bunk, bunk, bunk. All right, some parts and oh, 200 gold. Nice. Ooh, 15,000 experience. I'll, I'll take that. That's cool. Those have been turning out all right. I'm kind of happy that they're doing that. Incentivizes people to play more often, even if it's only once a day. We got a player. Two players. Spitfire. Who do we got? Oh, we got a 229, nice. Well, I think it's pretty clear where we're going first. Command center. So we're gonna do something a little bit tricky with the bot calls here. We're actually going to head for the mid, but we don't want our bombers to go there. We want our bombers and our ground attackers to go towards the uh, mining facility because that's where they should be going. So we're going to go ahead and F2 here and that'll get my ground attacker at least. And then I will F3, which will pull in a multi-roll. Perfect. Now, even if we don't get this, we'll be making the enemy fight for it a bit. Both bombs out there. We're actually going to pull away. Never want to be first in. I want everybody on this guy. Got him. Oh, we're on fire. Put it out. There we go. Help, help, help. Okay, doing the most noble thing we can. Not dying in the zone. 
We're actually outpacing this Mustang right now. I think we are. Oh, not anymore. But guess where that Mustang is? Not in the middle. Not helping his team out. Yep, he got me, but he got me all the way down south, so that gives us a good spot. Do we have bombers? Oh, we do. Where are they? Oh, they're going over to their site. Nice. I mean, not my first choice, but... Way. This is not typically my favorite thing to do in a multi roll. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, I wasted some time heading this way, but. Looks like our Horton knows what he's doing though, that's good. Pretty much done for, and he's gone. Nice. That's some teamwork. Be advised, a line of is this is a close one.
That's a lot of aircraft not coming back right now. Oh, we got a bunch of aircraft I don't want to be engaging coming in. Okay. What do we got here for P-51? Oh, he rammed me. That sucks. Looks like he had more hit points than me. We'll see how this goes. I'm proud of you, pilot. Head back home. Overall, a solid match. I'm happy with that result. Let's see how it paid out. That was two premium tier 8s versus a bunch of standard planes, a Spitfire. 14 and a P-51, what was that, a D? Which is a tier 7, so arguably we had them out tiered. But a P-51 can stick on me all day. Which he did in the early stage of the battle, right? Ooh, 200 and... 46,000 credits, but uh, some of that had to do with this guy right here, so, you know, okay, cool. Actually, was that even total credits without bonuses? So I actually earned more than that total, because this is just from the gameplay, so we ended up making whew, <laughs> nearly 400,000 credits uh, as a result of that, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> sweet. That's actually getting us way closer to where we need to be because we've actually, we've unlocked quite a few aircraft and we have yet to purchase them. Where is it? It's not here. We've unlocked the LA-160 and we've unlocked the TA-183 and we are really close to getting the J-7W-3 and we've also unlocked the attackers. So, yeah, just need to purchase them. All right. Thanks for joining me on my lazy Sunday flight. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll check you on the next one.